Hey guys, Mufumiko here aka Wicked Torch MC and today I'm doing a tutorial on this plugin. It's called Serverless Plus and basically what this does is it allows you to have like custom server icons based on like say the player's actual uh, pl uh, head or a custom MOTD. Also, it allows you to like have multiple MOTDs so when a player refreshes their server list, it'll actually show a different MOTD each time uh, from a specific list that you made. So we're gonna download this. Keep. Now to install this, we're just gonna go to uh, our server. So my, I have just I just have this test server right here, and then you get the plugins. Just drag it inside there, and now you're gonna start Minecraft. And I'll meet you. Uh, what, what, well, first, gotta start server. But you're gonna start Minecraft on the server, and I'll meet you in game. Now, now I'm in game, and you see in my server list the server's up, and here it is. But what is this? It just shows the default MOTD, like without the plugin. That's because what you have to do is SLP. What you're gonna do is SLP help. And it says, you see how it says SLP enable? Enables plugin start modifying the status pane. So you're going to do this SLP enable. And there you go, now it's enabled. Now let's see what they have as the default one. It says a Minecraft server, we have updated a server to Minecraft one, but that's just one of the default ones. And I think they have a second one too. You sure they have one? Oh. Yeah, she saw that. See, it says a Minecraft server, now it's a PvP minigame and much more. Now, if you want to customize this, then what you're going to do is go to your um, server thing, uh, plugin, and then, where is it, serverless plus, you're going to go to uh, serverless plus to YML, and then you see this, it has uh, the default and the personalized, the difference between these, uh, these two are, so, um, hold on, is there any difference that they set right now, okay, well, the difference between these are, when you're first uh, coming to the server, I'm guessing it's a different cache, not with, <coughs> not with like uh, server-wise. Not uh, I think it's plugin-wise. So if after this plugin was installed, if you if you never came to this server after this plugin was installed, then it's gonna give you uh, one of these two. Oh, I forgot to show you. If you hover above the players, it's, it's not showing it, but it's supposed to show this. I don't, I don't know why, it, uh, why it's not. Oh, I have to check into that. But um, anyways, if if you're a new player and after this plugin is installed, then I'll show you either one, either this one or this one. And if you're a returning player, then I'm just gonna show you either this one or this one. And I'll show you. So let's join the server. Now let's disconnect. Now theoretically, I would show you the personalized one now because you're cached into the system. So I'm guessing that's in the profile thing. Let's just check that out. Oh no, it's not the profiles, but I don't know. I get it might it's probably it has something to do with the plugin. It uh, caches catches you caches you. Sorry, I can't see it. Um, anyways, so let's edit this. So let's change this to an epic Minecraft server. And as you can see, you can use color codes, any of the Minecraft color codes, and you can use brackets. Uh, you can use like bold, underline, whatever you want to use. You can use exclamation points, whatever. And this is what separates it between separate messages. So this is the first one, as you can see that, and this is another one. So let's do this. We have and L not and C and L and then let's go back to and E to one point eleven because <laughs> we haven't done that yet. And then players hover. It's supposed to show it right here like this. See how it shows on this? But I guess this plugin doesn't work with the latest version of Minecraft or something. I guess they didn't update that feature yet. Anyways, uh, let's just change this to welcome to and uh, and here are the color codes. Uh, I was looking for orange and six. That's what we need. So we're gonna go do and six and epic. And now uh, let's go back to uh, what was the old one? And a and now it's an epic and orange. Welcome to an epic. And we might as well 
do I want to do that? Uh, I, I, will, it, I guess it's not catch the uh, thing. I know, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, so yeah, I've edited that. Now let's just, let's just copy this so we can see it because we've already joined the server. So it's, we're cached as a player that already joined. So we might as well do the same thing as default, but for personalized so we can actually see it. And then what we're going to do is SLP reload. Oh, that's why it's not working. Uh, protocol lib isn't installed, so the player however won't work. I'll install that. Now it says an epic Minecraft server. Okay, now I'm installing protocol lib. You're going to need uh, whichever one you're going to use. So I'm on 1.10.2, so I would use 4.1. Download. Exit. Exit. Yeah, I'll just keep that one open. <laughs> then keep, of course. Keep anyway. And go to the plugins list. Show in folder. <coughs> then we're gonna go to plugins. Drag this and it says move to plugins. I'm gonna exit this. And then now it's over here. Now to enable it, I'm gonna do reload. And let me just let it finish. There you go, now it's done reloading. And now it should say SLP load. Yeah, there we go. Now it says welcome to an epic. You know how I added the, where it says the epic in orange and bolded? I added that. So now it says that. Yeah, so that, that works. That, that's why it wasn't working. It wasn't, wasn't working like this. Um, so yeah, now we have that. And if, as you can see, it says now it's PvP minigame much more. If I refresh it, we get the other one. We have not updated our server to Minecraft. Well, I guess it was too long, so it's just stopped at Minecraft. Unless it works at full screen. No, it's the same thing. Okay, and what else? Uh, this is how you do uh, the player head. So you would, in the default and personalized areas, uh, in the description, you know how it says description, players, and then underneath it you would add a new area called favicons. And then if you want, uh, the different, there's two, two things you can do. You can do heads or helms. Heads doesn't include the outer covering shell, whatever you want to call it, of the player head. For example, if someone has glasses on their player skin on the outside part of their skin, then it won't show up if you do heads. But if you do helms, it includes it. I suggest doing helms because it just it, it's just more helpful. It makes it look cooler. For example, I have it set up right here. Oops, didn't mean to join. I have it set up right here. I added it to both uh, default and personalized. And now I have this. There are actually two other types that you can do. You can do... Um, well, so far, I told you two he heads and helms. There's two other ones. There's a 3D view of the head, like from an angle, like a corner, top top right corner angle, down at a little cube. And uh, the other one is a bust, meaning like it shows the head and a little bit of the chest. And I'll show you how to do both of those. To do a 3D view of the head, you uh, change from helms. For example, you see helms in player. I change them to URLs, and I put this URL. You're supposed to put this URL. Actually, you could kind of put any URL you want, because there's like Minotaur and these other websites that show use a Mojang API to show your player head or player body or whatever you want. But this was recommended on the plugin page. Mm -hmm. So this is what you would use. And after you did that, you would make sure, make sure you oh, yeah. reload. After you reload, you go to the list. And look. Uh... I don't know why it doesn't have my UUID. Well, let me just show the server. Can I just connect? I don't know why it doesn't have my UUID, but it should have my UUID. Just check something. This is for the default one. You would actually have X dash Steve, so it shows the one that you're looking at that you saw right here. This, uh, this one, the Steve one, before you join the server. But after you join the server, it actually should show your. Uh, uh, your actual player head based on your UID. So let's check that. <clears throat> uh, it's not working. 
Actually, I just went on the <coughs> API's website, which is Visage, and there's actually a bunch of them you can use. Face, front, front full, head, bust, full, and just their skin. There's a bunch of them that you can use, but I guess it's not working right now. I guess their API is down or something, because it's not working right now. Yeah. Let's try the bust. For the bust, you just replace the head with bust. And let's try it. And still shows Steve, but uh, at least the bust works. I guess it's just not working for the actual um, thing. Let's just make sure that it's showing me as a personalized, not cats. That's what it should show if it's personalized. Yeah, it's personalized. I don't know. I guess their API is done. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on Serverless Plus. Um, as you can see, you have like this little player thing. It ha you can have custom server icons. I guess you could just try something else like Minotaur. Um, uh, custom changing uh, MOTDs that change when you refresh it and their dual line and everything so it's just really cool i like it hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching like comment subscribe see you later